Hey everybody, back with a quick video here at G. Parker's Arcade Room, only because <coughs> a little bit ago I put out a video on uh, the new FX. And one of the things I was disappointed in was the fact that, uh, hey, I understood it didn't have cabinet mode, but uh, I really wished it had played in a portrait mode versus a uh, landscape mode. It just looked more pinball to me, and here in my office and on the cabinets, I have the cabinets, of course, the screens are set up in portrait mode. And in the office here, I have one that sets up in, uh, I can rotate into portrait mode. And I just put that in my video. Well, i got to give a special shout out. Now, I'm going to look this up so I can make sure I get this right. But uh, in the comments, Scott J. And I'll just... Uh, I'll read to you what he put on here and he just gave me these simple instructions and I think I told you you know I was kind of critical of this and there's still things I'm critical about but one thing I will say is uh, Scott J figured out how to do this and uh, my hat's off to him he says hey Greg try setting the windows display to portrait before you open FX pinball FX so I did that I set my main screen now in Steam you can just leave your main play field screen that you're going to play on in uh, landscape mode and make the adjustments with the uh, cabinet mode. But since this doesn't have cabinet mode, he, he had a great idea here. So first, again, I'll go back to, he says, uh, before you open FX, turn your screen into portrait mode. After you open your table, then go to settings for video inside of FX and uh, set it to full screen at 1080 by 1920. Well, I didn't see that setting before, but now that my screen's rotated, I did see that setting. So I did exactly what he said. He said it worked for him. Hope this will help other, anyone else uh, on the channel that's trying to get a better idea on how these tables might look on a cabinet. So he did it. Scott J, thank you. So let's take a look here. The other thing I found out too, I told you some of this may be my bad. Part of the reason my Xbox controller wasn't working good is because I had Joy to Key running at the same time and it was conflicting. If you've got an Xbox controller, you don't need Joy to Key running. Now imagine if you're in a cabinet and you're running your own uh, USB encoder, you may need that to interpret keys. But with an Xbox, it recognizes it. So uh, if you can just look across the top of the play field, which is kind of small now, uh, your uh, trigger buttons move you back and forth uh, to tables, news, uh, all across there. And if you bring down your uh, your joystick, it, it moves, starts moving through the table. So let me show you what this looks like. And I'll tell you what, while I'm showing you that, now the only thing I find is it is still kind of cut off on the right side. I haven't figured out that yet. But you know what? I, I, I'm happy with the way this is working so far. You can see just a little bit, and, and that's not because OBS is cutting off. What you're seeing here is what I'm seeing on my screen. So that's something more to look into. But uh, this, uh, let's try this table up here. It's, it's one of our new ones. And, and it's the one uh, now that I noticed they changed. I guess they changed them at zero UTC time. So the two new games are this one and uh, Attack from Mars. So now they're the two free that we got for 24 hours. So uh, let's hit play here. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing this game right, but it looks cool. Pinball Nor. N-O-I-R. Nor? Nor? And then just to tell you what I did while we're looking at this, I just, on my back glass, I just took the FX logo and made it full screen and put it up there. So, hey, you don't have a back box, but you are playing in uh, a vertical or a portrait mode. So I, I just think that's a, a really cool thing going on here. So let's play this. And again, I want to say thanks to Scott. Hey, man, you're a genius. Thank you for uh, Scott J. Thank you for doing that for us. Let's launch this ball. Ah. 
Like I said, there, there's still, you know, some things about this table, but in the interest of being fair, I wanted to uh, put the word out. Now see... I can still use my, uh, I can change the fuse. And I can launch the ball, let's launch the ball. Still got nudge up here. Everything's working great now. So I knew there were some things that just, uh, based on my lack of knowledge, that could be improved on uh, to make it better. Now, I, I, like I said, I'm still still worried about this ticket pricing and the price of these games. Uh, I think I read an article earlier today that said if you figured up the tickets and the prices... Uh, prices of tickets and how many tables they got and the price per table and tickets it's about 170 bucks to get all the tables but again that's up to you you know I mean compared to some things nowadays it's that could be considered a cheap date now compared to the FX3 tables that you could buy in bundles and stuff and save on uh, I don't know what I spent on those but uh, Somebody'd have to put a pencil on that too, so. But I think this is a cool table if I could play it okay. <laughs> okay, the end. So, my intention, I mean, it's neat to let you see what the game looks like, but, uh. Alright, got, uh. Your local high score is fourth in placement. That's locally with me. Um, when you're playing these free ones, they don't see you've got a leaderboard up there, but no matter how good a score you get, if you go to your leaderboards, uh, you can see uh, all time. Let's see if you, if you go. Uh, if you try, if you try to bring up my score, see it brings up nothing. No scores found. So again, you have to own the table for your name to go up here, or be a part of that uh, monthly or annual subscriptions you can buy. That I'm not going to say anything about that because I haven't researched that enough yet. But the main thing here tonight was to let you know that did find out a way. And what you do is you change your playfield screen that you're going to be playing this on to portrait mode start the game once the game's up and running go into settings and set it to and I'm just gonna go back and read this verbatim set it to 1080 by 1920 full screen and you're up and running in a uh, regular pinball fashion so I think that's really cool again Scott J can't thank you enough for what you did and uh, hey thanks everybody for watching uh, I just, uh, I know I put out quite a few videos here back to back, but in the interest of fairness, I just kind of want to let people know, uh, what could be done. So, uh, I'm definitely feeling a little better about this. Uh, hopefully things to come will be good. So thanks y'all. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.